Hello YouTube, Ace and Moogle here. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, we're go we've got another episode of No Game Left Behind. We're going to be having a look at Future Cop LAPD. Mm -hmm. uh, this came out, uh, at, uh, one of the, it's an electronic arts game, came out uh, mid to late 90s, I believe it came out in 1997. Oh yeah, good And uh, we're going to have a go at multiplayer. You'll, uh, you'll note that we only have one uh, screen on here. Uh, we're only using one computer. How, the, how can that be? Well, we are using the regular PC version, but uh, surprise, surprise, this is, believe it or not, a split-screen game on yep. PC. Uh, you've got both the uh, Precinct Assault mode and the Co-op mode, if you want to yep. use either or. Oh, and it's a... Uh, yeah. Uh, we're try we actually had to record this uh, game footage first and then narrate it afterwards. Uh, so, yeah. it's going to be a little bit, well... Yeah. Animations, uh, what we're seeing is a little choppy. I mean, it's a lot smoother in game. Uh, you'll see because you're watching the finished product here. But anyways, yeah. So uh, it just shuts it or slows it down a bit. Frame rate. So, yeah. anyways, uh, what we've got here, uh, the mode is uh, each side has a base, and your goal is to open. Uh, Moogles use the poking device uh, power up and is attacking me. <laughs> hey, you oh, showed God. right up in front of me, man. And, and uh, oh. Uh, he got me on that. <laughs> oh dear. So anyways, so yeah, as I was saying, yeah, so we've got these two bases here, and uh, your goal is to go around the, uh, the battlefield, capturing uh, turrets, then destroying enemy turrets, and in addition to that, um, now doing, yep, I blew up. <laughs> yep. Uh, doing each of those actions will get you ten. Po will get you a point each. But if you destroy the enemy's uh, robot, you'll end up getting ten points, and they'll lose ten. Um, I use these points to buy stuff in the uh, during the game, like uh, tanks, helicopters, and outposts. And uh, you'll also get some other stuff once you get up, which you accumulate over 50 and extremely rare, extremely rare vehicles, stuff like that to use to absolutely decimate the enemy. It's a load of fun, trust me on that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you also have the ability to transform your uh, robot or uh, mech into a uh, hovercraft. Now, why the police would need mechs in the 2020s is beyond me, but... I don't know. Well, hey, you know, we got, uh, what, five more years, and then we'll see? Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Uh, I felt that it was a good idea to probably do a video on this game now. Well, we've been trying to do a video on this game for a good long while. I just took an hour there. What, probably several months? Yeah, uh, this is another one of those videos that required us to actually use the uh, uh, capture card, otherwise we would not be able to get the footage that you're seeing now. Yep. And even then, it's uh, very difficult to try to get it that way. Uh, we had to jump all th through all sorts of hoops to figure out uh, what to do and what not to do. Anyways, up. Crossfire! Oh, I blew it up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I'm uh, rounding around the central area of the map right now and taking all the turrets there where all the good power ups are for the most part. Yeah, and uh, I'm working on just trying to get like 30 points so I can get an apple for him. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, he is. So anyways, yeah, yeah. So we, uh, uh, I almost ran into him there again. So yeah. Um, aside from this, I I mentioned that there is a co-op campaign. And it's the same as the single player, of course, but you do get yeah, like the single. But in this case, uh, the health meter is shared. So if one of you picks up a health pack, you both get your health back at the full, but if you, one of you dies, you both die, basically. Yep. And you have to start the whole mission over. That said, it's got some interesting stuff to it. Uh, there's the occasional boss fight, or mini boss fight, that's in the single player. Um, yep. Google, what's your opinion? Yeah, like I said, I think this is actually a really well done game. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I've had so much fun with this. I'm almost, I'm almost, uh, almost feel like I'm playing, uh, uh like MechWarrior Online. Uh, except... Yeah, a little slightly easier to control. But there, I got an outpost. Yeah, good work, Mobile. Uh, yeah, so it is, it is a very arcadey game, but it's uh, but it's pretty fun to do to play. But nevertheless, um, let's see. Uh, now, this is also a game that came around, like I said, uh, mid to late '90s. It was back when Electronics Arts was actually being artistic and creative. Oh my God, they actually make good games. Yes, and yes. And in fact, this was actually, believe it or not, supposed to be a spiritual successor of sorts to 
uh, the Strike series, is in Desert Strike, Jungle Strike, Urban Strike. I'm gonna find that a little hard to believe, but okay. Well, think about it though. The, you know, the game controls are similar in some respects. I mean, granted, instead of it being an isometric, it's now a. Uh, third Never person. going down that hallway again. There is nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of my lost time right there. It's like, I'm gonna go this way. You know, I'd have to say that graphically the game looks pretty good for yeah. a mid-late 90s. Uh, exactly. The sound effects are decent, especially when you see one of these big turrets yep. blow up. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking about the small ones either, but the big ones, uh, which we might be able to get another shot of. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, the visuals go well with it. Ow. There we go. I'm healed. So, anyway, so, uh, what, uh, Luga, what else do you have to say on this one? Oh, well, I mean, uh, the, only, the only thing I've kept uh, having trouble with is uh, I keep, forget, keep forgetting about the vehicle. Just because you get, you get stuck using the Mac, uh, you know, and that's awesome. But with the vehicle, it's like, I think you're, what, down to just your machine gun? No, you're, uh, you're, you've got all your weapons, it's just that you don't get very good traction. Yeah, that's it. But it's just, I always keep forgetting about it because it's click the both of thumbsticks. And it's like, why would you have it there? Well, that's actually kind of my fault. I configured the controls uh, myself. Oh, okay. uh, we both have the exact same controls. Um, we were using Xbox 360 controllers straight from the package and just plugged them right into the USB on the PC here. Oh, yeah. That's the best way to do it. Yes, it is. It makes, and it makes a split screen. And that, by the way, that's another thing. This is one of the very few games I've ever seen on PC that actually have split screen. Uh, think about it. Um, when's the last time you've seen it, aside from this right here? Um, I honestly can't think of a good time. Or the day time they've done that. Mm. So anyways, so yeah, it is a, it is an interesting title. It's certainly worth picking up. Uh, you can only find a hard copy these days, unfortunately, which, which is a shame because they really should end up re-releasing this on digital download, maybe GOD or something like that. Uh, if the, if the, you are, however, team should pick this up. Yes, they should. If you are, however, curious enough to, to try to find that, uh, if you, if you, however, you uh, willing to just play this map of this mode, I believe the demo will allow you to do two player with this map specifically. Yeah, I'm so, breaking your shit. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. See here, uh, I'm taking the central point. That yeah, worked, Mogul. Uh, yeah, it is pretty easy to dodge fire here. Also, uh, I'm gonna open up on this and boom. Ah, uh, there goes a lot of my stuff. And that was the uh, sound effects and the visual effects I was talking about earlier. As you can tell, I mean, I have to remind myself this is a mid to late '90s game. This is not early 2000s. Yep. Because. Because I am very impressed by it. Um, so, anyways, I think that pretty much covers everything we need to say about this one. Yeah. Uh, certainly pick it up if you find it, or go on Amazon, look around, go through a rummage store, uh, look around yep. for it. Definitely. Oh, about to get another outpost. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll keep playing here until Lugo gets the outpost. All right. Come on. Want to die already? There it goes. Yeah. Little scatter shot. I'll take that one out too. Be like points. Uh, actually, we might actually just stick around here because uh, once he gets it, um, let's see how things turn out once he gets it. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm going to about to actually uh, get use those points I got earlier to uh, instead of buying out those since they're all claimed. I'm going to actually start producing tanks uh, as soon as I decide to turn around. I was kind of making my mind up. I can't point. get up the ramp. I can't get up the ramp. Okay, so I'm, I've got 16 points here. You, it actually caps you out at 20 tanks, uh, but they re uh, once you lose tanks, you can get more. And I he blew just, up. <laughs> yeah, he just died, so I'm going to be able to pick up some uh, helicopters. The, the jet symbol for it's jets, but it's actually helicopters. I know they're calling them jets in the game also, but trust me, they are helicopters. Yep. So anyways, I'm going to do escort duty here. Uh, that up. I've got uh, two tanks here that I'm helping uh, the tanks, by the way, will automatically capture turrets for you and destroy enemy units. So they're actually pretty useful to have. Um, that up. 
It is. I can't get up the ramp. Again. Now, if you don't want to do this mode, uh, or if you don't have a second person to play with this mode with, by the way, uh, they have something called. They have the option of playing this mode single player. Uh, you'll go up against what uh, Sky Captain, who is this um, guy in this jet, basically, that has all the abilities that you do, but can remote buy stuff, so he can be anywhere on the map uh, instantly by an uh, outpost, or instantly by tanks and helicopters that he needs, or from any point, basically. Yeah, yes, he is. And he also has a whole bunch of dialogue that he will spout all the time. Oh, yeah. Like crazy. I cannot tell you how many times I, enjoy, I have heard him yell, I live again! But after he responds. Good for you, buddy. Here's a good one. Alright, so, oh, alright, so I'm actually on the on Luger's uh, doorstep here. Yep. Last week for his base. I'm trying to take out all the turrets here so I can. Oh, we've got my tank, and I've got one more coming right up. I've got three tanks left, and this badly damaged tank is slowly going. He could go all the way. Touchdown! Oh, damn it. <laughs> that was a good, fun game, uh, wouldn't you say, Booba? Oh, yeah. That was, that was actually, well, it was still kind of in your favor, but, you know, it wasn't too far off. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I've played this a lot longer than he moved yeah. later has. But anyways, so that's uh, Ace. Yep, and Moogle. And we are and having a look at Future Cop LAPD. Yep. Haha, I blew up something else in yours. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Yep.